President Obama is giving a speech, and you know how Mitt Romney has said, oh, he's created a prayer, fire of debt, et cetera. You know what? He struck back really hard. And this is really getting me to change my mind on how he is going to run this campaign. Because in the beginning, as I've told, said over and over again, I was worried that they were going to run a soft campaign and they were going to get steamrolled. So far, they are not running a soft campaign at all, right? So in a time when Republicans attack, normally Democrats fall back, right? So Mitt Romney attacks, oh, dad, it's all your fault. No, 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 no. How dare you attack me on Bain Capital? Here's President Obama, quote, I know Governor Romney came to Des Moines last week, warned about a prairie fire of debt. That's what he said, but he left out some facts. His speech was more like a cow pie of distortion. I don't know whose record he twisted the most, mine or his. Hmm. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now look, that is not what President Obama normally says no, but during his term. Candidate Obama is a different animal Apparently. than President Obama. But this guy knows how to run. Cow pie of distortion. He just said that, that, that Romney's full of shit. Okay, yeah, that, that's what it refers to. By the way, I tell you said that I actually didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, it, but truthfully, I mean, that, that's the difference. That's and that's good. why I yeah. never, that, that this guy knows how to run for president. And he knows how to run for office. And, and, you know, people under, you know, they think about John McCain. He ran against Hillary Clinton, which was a very, very tough campaign. And he won it. And he, he did it by responding quickly and forcefully. And But not as negatively. And so I, I'm, which I'm, I'm happy for. I mean, I could care less about these nonsense columns about, oh boy, it's going to be so negative. Yeah, uh, good. Because they're going to play tough and negative, and, and Obama right. should too. So that's, I think, some, I agree with you. The guy clearly knows how to run a campaign. A campaign Obama. This is an ugly negativism. I mean, you know. No, but I mean, it's just, it, it, it is answering, it is, it is far less about our vision and a hopeful future for America and more, no, this guy's horrible and therefore he should vote to me. So, There's a uh, lot more of that in there. Yeah. yeah, along those lines, he continues, um, he and his folks, they've got the nerve to go around saying they're somehow going to bring down the deficit. Economists who have looked at his, at his plan say it would swell our deficits by trillions of dollars. Look, if you look at it, it's just the most logical thing in the world to say outside of the context that we know, we think like, well, of course, they're running against one another, and Romney's plan would swell the deficit by trillions of dollars. It's just in the context that we live in where Democrats never fight back, I'm like, whoa, yeah. what, you look at that, he pointed out that Romney's de budget is actually would create large deficits. Wow, he's fighting. That argument, uh, the, the James Carville argument in that Obama campaign, and obviously it carried the day, and I don't mean to suggest he was the only one to make it, but the, that that way of thinking has won out, which is don't, don't sit around, presume you have this one, don't talk sort of you know vaguely and inspirationally about no no, this is warfare, go to war, and yeah. I, it seems like they they have. Yeah, punch them and they're in the engage mouth. They're going to even more and more and more and more. They're going to, A, they're going to have to because the campaign is going to mature. But but the, the Obama campaign is, you can see it all the time. Now. Right. Now, third part of the speech about Bain Capital. Lots of attacks in the mainstream media. Morning Joe is very influential. I hate that it is, but it is. You know, those conventional wisdom guys sitting around mm -hmm. going, tut, tut, tut. They bring out Harold Ford Jr. who works at Morgan Stanley to go, tut, tut, tut. How, how dare you go after Bain and venture, uh, private, private equity, equity, I should say, and Wall Street? Here's what he said in the speech. When uh, Bain Capital uh, does what they do, quote, workers get laid off, benefits disappear, pensions are cut, factories go dark. Investors walk off with big returns, and working folks get stuck holding the bag. If, Who is this? If you had asked I don't me, know this guy, but I like this guy. If you had asked me, even with the progressive response to Cory Booker, what would happen after Cory Booker, I would have guessed the Democrats will back off. On that's what I would have guessed. Right. Yeah, no, and that's why this is so surprising. So I, I get, like, all of a sudden, you're right. Campaign Obama has forgotten he's a Democrat. No, I, I, <laughs> like, I, I he's now all of a sudden a progressive I, on the and a fighter. On the show, I said they're going to go with Bain Capital all the way. Partly because I hear Newt Gingrich saying it's a bad idea, <laughs> and as soon as somebody, as Newt Gingrich says it's a bad idea to go against Bain Capital, then I know that the Democrats are going to go too. Yeah. By the way, I love the irony of Newt Gingrich yeah, saying, "How it. dare you I attack Bain it. Capital?" Yeah. What? That's totally what that's you did in the first. He did in New Hampshire. <laughs> he ran like millions.
millions of dollars of ads on that. It yeah. was awesome. No, I, th I think the Bain Capital. And the one thing I'm surprised at is the famous photograph of all of these Bain guys with money coming down and the money in their mouth. And that you don't see that anywhere. It, no, me, they, it's, now it's now, the I, biggest it, indictment in one moment that you can have. I actually think I had a debate with you about this, and I said, "Well, they're not going to do that because they're Democrats." But I now I'm officially changing my position. I believe it's coming. You I do. believe they are going to run that picture. Okay, and they're, they're going to run over. that picture. This that guy, picture. this guy who made this speech, is going to run that picture. Well, yes, that's true. Okay, yeah. because uh, you know, and and. He, and it, somebody on Current made this point, and I don't remember if it was you, Michael, or not, uh, but gr claim credit either way. If it's uh, a good point, I think it was, it was probably <laughs> me. Uh, is that the Bain Capital attack, and even the controversy surrounding it, isn't necessarily about Bain Capital. Private equity and whether they're good or bad is a very complicated question, as you know, we'll tackle on Current tonight, yeah. so we pre-taped it, to be honest. And, and it's a really interesting discussion about whether you can make that point politically, et cetera. But, it's about saying, hey, remember, this guy's rich, this guy's the 1%. That this was guy's, me. Yeah, that that was there's you. a disconnect between this guy and the rest of us. It yeah, he's not one of you. He's not he's one, not of, one yeah. of you. Yeah. Uh, bless bless your heart. And you know what? Uh, and I think that that's right. And I think that you walk away thinking, right, that, that, that richy rich guy. Totally. Yeah, right. and that's very effective. And that's what they politics. want to cast him as. Right.